This is the way. No, this way. Quiet. You're going to alert the guards of our presence. No, you hush. Who goes there? Identify yourself! You're no good to me, injured. Get out of here, too bad. Okay, I'll retreat back. As you know, we have been facing hard times with food resources becoming scarce. As the village of Veritas can no longer produce fresh fruits and their crops are drying up. So, I have brought in some help from my home planet, Earth. When I was at NASA, one of my friends, Jennifer, was working on making life sustainable in space by mixing the DNA of plants and animals. DNA? Astronauts? ...diverse climates to supply the astronauts with both food and oxygen. Uh, guards! It's Beast Man! You guards are going down! Enough! That right did smart my hand. Take him out of here! The attorney and woman are sure tall and strong. Shall we continue? Hook me up to the memory projector. This is the new improved one. No headband required. Sit back and think the numbers three, seven, five, nine to connect. Meanwhile, at Snake Mountain, Skeletor was watching on the Doomseeker. Okay, I've thought of those numbers. Confirmed. Scanning. Ready. When I was at NASA, the plan was to make plants so they could survive in the harshest environments. Jennifer led the team looking at various ways to make this work. She came up with the brilliant idea to mix animal DNA with the various plant to give them the survival instinct. The plan worked too well and the plants became mobile and could run away and made it difficult to maintain control of them. She studied the plants, realized the issue, and altered the double helix DNA structure. After many hours and much testing, she made some viable plants They could both survive in the harsh environments and stay put. So where is this all going to take place? Here we have the map of the light hemisphere of Eternia. Here is the palace where we are now. This is the village of Veritas, where we used to get 75% of the food supply for Eternia. Down here is the southern plains and this desert land will be called New Texas. Named after the Texas, I spent most of my life on Earth. We will have lush lands, replacing this dry desolate place of the Southern Plains. And we will have cattle farming too, with real cowboys. Which is why Rio, also from Earth, will be lending a hand. What buffoonery is this? I have long toiled, destroying the crystal of Arvidas, the very lifeblood of their crops. These, these Texans dare to disrupt my grand design. Curse them all! If they succeed, I will lose my dominion over Eternia. But Evil Lynn was eavesdropping as well. Hordak will find this very interesting.
Hey, Hebrew fans. So what'd you think of the video? Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I was all excited about making this, and this is just the first episode. And what I need you guys to do is, if you liked it, share it with people. Um, we need to actually raise some money for the channel. We had a kind of a family crisis that happened. And uh, so please help us out. Don't send money. We don't need you to send money. We need you to share the video. So if you liked it, you like this channel, you like what you see, people that will see it will like it too. So please share the video, send it to your friends, send it to everybody else. And uh, then we'll have some more episodes coming up with the characters. And of course, where is Rio Blast? Where are you? Rio! Oh, I can't find. There he is. Ha! Huh. My cool custom Rio, the pre, pre Rio before he gets his uh, cybernetics, which you will see how he gets them in later episodes. So that'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, do post in your comments what you guys think. There's there's one part I think's kind of a little hokey. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. You guys can let me know what you think it is, and I'll let you know next episode if uh it was what i thought it was or not i gotta admit though these horses from the four horsemen they are so cool which is funny i bought them from the four horsemen and i have uh this horse here which is our uh, rio's horse and then i have uh this horse here which is for a bad guy which has not been revealed yet but such a cool horse and then uh it's got some other horses of course i have a standard he-man horse now if you have your he-man horses this one's been customized though with brown instead of orange if you have your he-man horses you will notice that uh the legs start to get kind of crunched right here so just take these pieces and i believe i got these from um oh what is his name it's it's modulox robot whatever his name is and i took these pieces and just put three of them together like that you're not going to use them for anything else you have a ton of these left over and you just after you make these little three pieces like that you just stick it in the horse's leg just give it a little twist as you put it in twist twist and shout and it goes into that little narrow part on the front of the legs and it holds it out at just the right spacing so you don't have your legs mashed together in a box or on a shelf or something else. Then when you go to use them, you just give it a twist and pull it out and now your legs are nice and straight and very cool. So that is what I do with my, um, my horses to keep the legs from getting all mashed together. Because so many of these horses you find swift win or other ones where their legs are mashed horse is this so you can see right here here's one that the leg has been mashed oh this is batman's horse no 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 batman and again you just take this little piece right here and you just stick it on in there give a little twist twist and now leave it like that for a few hours and it will be back to normal after the legs sit in place that will be much much better all right anyway i'm really excited about making more of these please let you know let me know what you think and if you liked it as much as i enjoyed making it this is what i want to do i want to make stop motion for my you know main thing that i do and so to make this work you got to share the video to help me out so because right, every stop motion I make, I invest so much time, effort, and everything else, creating all the stuff you see around the background, everything else, and then nobody watches it. I'm like, oh, oh. And so my wife keeps telling me, stop doing the stop motion. It's not paying off. Um, go back to just doing figure reviews. I'm still gonna do figure reviews if I do stop motion, but I really love doing stop motion. It's my, it's where my heart really is. Uh, when I was a young child, I used to take my Micronauts and do walk sequences with them to get the idea of how they would move um, if I was gonna do a stop motion scene with them. So anyway, so um, hopefully you guys like it and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And please, please, please share the videos. Put them on your YouTube um, places you travel to or Instagrams or email your buddies or 
you know, whatever you want to do to get get the word out there. And uh, if it if it hits off big, we'll have lots of more episodes and have a whole entire uh, mini series. And like I said, this one's going to be based around um, Rio Blast, but you're going to love the story. It is really cool. I've spent a lot of time getting parts together to create the story. It's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, you'll see how he gets his cybernetics and you'll meet um, other parts of his family. And it'll be lo really cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, good journey. Bye now. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it.